Hey there crafty friends! Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery! My name's Robin and my husband Bill is behind the camera, behind the computer. You might hear his voice from time to time. So welcome! Come on in, get comfortable, say hello when you sign, when you get here, say hello in the comments. I'm gonna get this thing up and going on my computer so that I can let you know the keyword that should be ready to go. And I think that's it. So our keyword tonight, what did I, what did I say our keyword tonight was? I forgot already. Right here it says dolly, doily. Doily, okay, yes, that doily, that's it. I knew it was something like that. So doily is our keyword for tonight. So type that in the comments and you'll get entered into our weekly drawing. Let me get that, that is sent. Let hello, me turn Amy that jo. off. So, hello, hey Amy Jo, thanks for sprinkling. Keyword is doily. Hello and welcome to Craft Around the Clock. We are so happy to be hosting this segment. So, if you're here from Craft Around the Clock, be sure and say hello in the comments. And we are going to be having, hopefully, two giveaway opportunities. We have a um, once a week giveaway that you get opportunities for all week during our lives to enter a keyword and get an entry into that drawing. So that will be on Sunday night. So if you enter the keyword doily into the comments, and has it been working? Huh? Has it been working? Yeah, bot okay. is working. Okay, so that will get you um, that will get you entered. We also, if we get at least at some point during this live, at least twenty five viewers on at one time, we will do a drawing at the end of the live at seven o'clock my time, whatever whatever an hour it is your time. So, in order to get entered into the daily tonight's drawing you just comment and I'm going to I have my timer I'm setting it for a random amount of a five-ish minutes and when that timer goes off it's Bill's job to look at his screen and see the last person that commented and that person gets their name put on a ticket and they get entered into our drawing at the end of the night I've emptied out my bucket I don't have any of last week's which I have been known to do so anyway, hi Cheryl, hey Angela, hello Teresa. Teresa, did you get answered on yours? I saw it misspelled at a moment there. Okay, yeah, it's not Dolly, it's Doily, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And we'd love it if you do all these Facebooky, YouTubey things. If you'd give our page a heart, if you'd follow our page. Especially if you're not already following, we need you to follow Raincross Farms Makery. We're both on Facebook and YouTube, so we would love to have more followers on Facebook and more subscribers on YouTube. And if you feel so inclined, sprinkle this out to your friends. Okay, thanks for sprinkling, Cheryl. Hi, Christina. You haven't seen me. Oh, we haven't seen you. Okay, so tonight's project, I said it was going to be a patriotic project, so I'm wearing my red, white, and blue, I don't know if they're fireworks or what, but we are going to make a patriotic garland bunting. You know that bunting is that the red, white, and blue fabric that kind of swoops down? Well, we have this transfer. It's for part of our tiered tray set, and I've, already, I've used this a bunch of times. This is, the, this is the transfer that goes on the inside of the tray, but look at that. Does that not look like a doily to you? So we are going to use this, and instead of those cherries that are there, we are going to, we're going to chalk in some stars, and it's going to look all patriotic. So that's why we're saying doily, because this is part of our tear tray set, and this is the doily half circle pattern. And then we're going to use part of the, I think this is from the Land of the Free set. We're going to use these stars. And here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to use some of our chalk suede sheets. This is, this is like um, cardstock. 
only it's called chalk suede because it it has a finish that feels kind of like suede ultra smooth and I, let me see how does it say how it doesn't say how how many pounds this is but I, I would say it's like 160 pound weight it's it's very sturdy so we are going to use a sheet of this tonight and I'm going to show you how you can do it with we're going to make our own little cutouts out of paper so so shall we get going do we have do I have to anybody else to say hello to hi Roberta I'm thirsty I'm doing a whole lot of talking so let's get going on this there you go Teresa you got it it work okay um, you don't necessarily have to wax this paper and if you don't have chalk suede paper you can get it in my shop but if you don't you can just use regular cardstock use a good quality cardstock but even though it's got this super duper finish it these things stick to it like crazy and I'm just afraid I'm gonna um, twist these or tear these or mess them up as I'm re removing them so I'm going to put just a layer of surface wax on my paper two Cheryl's do we have a third Cheryl okay so surface wax just clear paste wax sell it in my shop got a little uh, applicator and I'm just putting a really light layer this is going to make it so that my paper my transfer doesn't stick like glue to this so that I don't rip it or stretch it or mangle it. Hey, Joanne, when I pull it up. So just a little bit of wax. And I'm going to use, I could use, I could use either one. This is a smaller one. It's just little dots, but we're going to use this one that, that kind of it looks like a doily to me. So that's where we got our keyword from. So I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to get out a fuzzing cloth because I want to make sure it's not too sticky. Now I've used this several times, so it's it's probably, it's definitely not as sticky as when it was new. Okay, so who was our last commenter? That was my timer. We're going to say Teresa Adams. Teresa, at, we're going to say it because she is the last one that commented. Okay, I've got Teresa down, and I have reset my timer. So, if you if you keep commenting and you're the last one that comments when the timer goes off, you'll get entered into our drawing for the end of the live. Okay, and, so um, you did empty your. Bag I did. Your I did. I started oh. serving. Okay, you can get four of these on here. And this is how I do it. I know somebody else that has done this, and she said she swore up and down you could only get three. I can get four. I can get four. So I'm just going to go to the edge, so that way that's one less section I need to cut. I'm going to line that up right on the edge. And I'm going to hey, push Julia, that down. Jill and Bobby are coming up. Maybe you ought to join a ride with them. Oh, they're flying. Oh, they're, well... You gotta fly with she them. Can, she can have a glass of wine and fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pushing this down. I'm making sure there's no uh, pieces of lint underneath there. There's no air bubbles. Hey, Shirley, welcome. Shabby chic vintage chicks. Awesome. I will tell you, I don't mind you commenting from your business page, but if you comment doily, my bot won't send a business page a message. So if you want to enter the drawing, go out come back in as your personal profile type in doily and then that'll get you entered okay so we are going to use uh candy apple red and we're going to use our new midnight blue this is our color of the month only available while supplies last during the month of june mm -hmm. okay so we are going to we're going to skip the cherries. We're going to chalk these little, I don't know if they're daisies or what. We're, they kind of look like little starbursts. So we're going to chalk those. We're going to chalk this outside. 
and this inside. So I'm going to use my red. I'm going to get a squeegee. And I'm going to put a little bit of paste on my squeegee and I'm going to carefully start chunking this. So I'm just, I could tape off the things I don't want, but I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of take my time and try to go carefully. Now this chalk suede paper is pretty forgiving. So if I make a mistake, if I don't let it sit too long, I can probably wipe it off, use my board eraser, clean it off and re-chalk it. But I'm trying to not make a mistake because I hate fixing mistakes. Bill's laughing at something. I'm laughing at Joanne. She says, how do you spell doilies? Did I get it? <laughs> Did she? <laughs> okay, let's get the center part. Thank you, Amy Jo. She likes the shirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so. watching because Angela's tried to send it a couple times and it's not coming up for her. Angela, one way or another, we'll get you covered. Yeah, if it doesn't, I don't, I'm not sure why. If it doesn't get you, just let me know and I will add you by hand. Okay. I think I've got this all chopped. So I'm going to peel this off carefully. <laughs> Grandma used to make them, they were on every chair. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. A little smudgy in a couple spots, but that's okay. And we're going to add those stars. Before I move on, I am actually going to clean this. I made some earlier and I just kept reusing the transfer and Honestly, it works a whole lot better if you wash it in between. So I'm going to clean this real quick. Oh, and there was my timer. And who was that? That's Cheryl Mesh. Cheryl Mesh. Uh -huh. Oh, and we have another one pop up. But anyway. Okay. So let me clean this real quick. I'm just going to use water. And I'm going to use a Swedish dishcloth or some paper towels. I'm just going to get them damp. And I'm going to get... Um, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Uh, hey, Amy. You were asked earlier, did you make your shirt? Teresa said, did no. you make your shirt? No, I did not make this shirt. I got this probably at a thrift store, if I recall. Okay, now I'm switching over to my board eraser. This is going to clean all that paste out of the screen. So front and back, see it's continuing to pull out paste. Another spritz. Hey, Alana's here. Haven't seen you for a while, girl. Hope everything is good with you. Rhonda, try, instead of dolly, try doily. D-O-I-L-Y. I probably should have put dolly in as yes, a... Yes, you should have. I should have. We're not doing dollies. I don't know what Amy Jo was referring to when she said mine did too. Mine did too. It was a while back, but... Okay, yeah, I, I've completely lost that train of thought. Okay, so clean that up, and I'm going to use it again, so I'm going to dry it real quick with a paper towel, lightly, because I don't want paper to stick on my sticky part here. Okay, and I'm going to kind of 
air dry it. So how is everybody this Tuesday? Andrew's been trying to put it in. It's not working for her. So uh, we'll put it in manually okay. at the end. Andrew. Okay. I made you a note. Thank you. Okay. A little bit of fuzz. And now I'm going to put it on this side. And you can get four of them because you can put, you can put one on each side. Trust me. I've done it. I'm only going to do two tonight because I've... I knew we would run out of time. My cat got into my hamburger buns and had a good meal. Well, we had some leftover Subway sandwiches one day. We did. We saved we, it. We, saved it. we ate. We bought footlongs because, you know, they have the special for buy one, get one, whatever. And we ate six inches of it for lunch, and we saved the last half for... Uh, for dinner and then we went somewhere and I guess Bill had put them on the dresser in the they didn't quite make it to the fridge but he put them on the dresser in the bedroom we took them out so we could have them for dinner and uh, Duke and Daisy had a little feast so that was fun okay so I've got that down let me chalk this one up real quick too Joanne says she's having problems with the audio again. Again, it's got to be you. Is anybody else having problems with audio? I was afraid we were going to have trouble because we had a storm come through and I was losing internet off and on part of the day. But yeah. it seems like that kind of cleared itself up. Hey, Cheryl Brock, you didn't mention the 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 um, Rain Cross Farms sign oh. in the background. Yes, Bill made us a lovely sign. Well, we need to adjust it. But yeah, we need to work needs to on be a little some... smaller. Well, it just needs to be better located, I think. Okay. That is Tammy Whiting. Okay. And she says, what is the keyword? <laughs> <laughs> it's not congrats. Okay. I've got my hands full, so remind me, keep keep record of that name. I, I'm writing make, it down. And make sure you watch me write it down, Tammy. And I'll post the um, keyword again for you. Okay, so let's peel this off. There we go, another doily. Okay, now I'm going to sit this aside. And I'll clean that one up later. And I'm done with the red, so I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to dry this really, really well with my dryer. In fact, I'm going to get my mega heat one out. Because I want this really dry. And then I'm going to cut them out. And then I'm going to put the stars on. I just smeared that. you we'll make sure you get entered <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't like you you had to delete your first try well that's interesting although Angela has has tried 20 times 
Yes, I get my Swedish dishcloths from Amazon too. I've also gotten them at Ikea, if you're near an Ikea. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out. Scissors. I'm gonna use these scissors. So I'm going to cut just slightly larger than the chalk. So I guess I'm gonna have to sit back and watch because I didn't see you make anything else, but uh, I thought you'd do the printing on all of it. Well, you cut it out. I would, but I didn't want to take all that time oh, okay. tonight. So I'm just doing two and I have some that are already finished. So I'm just, I'm just doing two so you can see what I'm doing, but I actually did, you're, you're going to want maybe seven or eight, depending on how long you want your garland. These end up about eight inches wide. carefully fussy cutting that out and you can see I can fit another one there I can fit another one there and another one there so I can get four out of one of one sheet this comes uh, 12 sheets per pack so you can make yourself a whole bunch of bunting doily garlands are you doing patriot I'm doing patriotic that's why I didn't chalk the cherries, because but although cherries would make a really cute theme too. But I'm just doing red, white, and blue. Our cherries aren't ready yet. No, nope. they'll pick a couple of cherries off our tree. They're still pretty sour. No, they're just tart. We'll tart. just say they're tart. They're tart. They're not ready for pie. Although you do want tart cherries, but these are too tart. And last little loop. Okay. Okay, so I've got these done. There's my timer. Oh my goodness. Uh, I gotta back up. Cheryl Brock says we got our first cucumbers yesterday. And Cheryl Brock is our beeper. That's our beeper. Okay. And so I've got these done. Now I'm going to do the stars in blue. So I'm going to line up these stars because this it isn't the pattern that fits here, so I'm gonna have to do them one at a time. So I'm gonna put um, the legs of a star over this over this um, scallop and point the top of the point up to there. So I'll know where where to kind of put them. And I'm going to see how many I can get done. I'm gonna use our midnight blue paste. You can't grow anything or Anyo. I don't know what. We've got some blossoms on our cucumbers. Okay, so I'm just going to do one star. I'm going to peel it up. Now I'm trying to be careful. I'm not pushing down too hard with the sticky part because I don't want to pull up any of the I don't want to pull up any of that red paste that I've put down. So I'm not dabbing it. I'm just pushing it down and I don't want to get blue paste all over my fingers. Teresa says she has a peach tree that keeps getting some and their pears keeps getting the critter eaten. Oh. Off. We have birds that like our cherry trees, so and we've never had enough cherries that there's enough for both us and them yet anyway <laughs> Angela 
I have on my phone an automatic statement that says stupid autocorrect. <laughs> okay. Spell check. I'm, just, I'm just doing every other one for right now because I don't want to get it all smeared. So let me put this down here. And you'll notice I'm not cleaning it in between. Oh, look at that. It went, oh, that was Tammy. I thought that. I saw. thought it finally worked. I thought Angela's name was above it, and it, but it was Tammy that finally went through. In fact, send send Angela the the link that goes to uh, YouTube. Oh, send her that link. That'll get her the same thing. I'll get it to her. Okay. I can do that. Angela. Bill's gonna send you a link that is really for our YouTube watchers. This one. But if you click on it, it gets you the same. That's exactly the same thing you're doing when you're typing doily. This one right here. Mark? Yes, the M M yeah, M dash M dot M E. All right, let's see where. Is so this, this is kind of like a back door to somewhere. that uh, to that bot link. There she is. All right, here we go. I'm gonna type. You now have a response. Okay, so I've got half of these, half of these starred, and let me dry that really, really well. Okay, Teresa, I sell it in my shop. It's called Chalk Suede Sheets. It's the same thing. We, we also sell um, gift tags and the cards the greeting cards out of chalk suede this is just it the 12 by 12 sheets so you get you get 12 of them in a pack chalk suede chalk suede paper so it's um it's in my shop if you if anybody's interested in the supplies i'm using um when you when you type in doily you will get a message to your messenger and there will be some buttons you can push. Um, you can push uh, product info and then you can take a look and the next message and type on, uh, punch tonight's, tonight's, tonight's supplies, I think it is. And you can take a look at all the supplies I'm using. Okay, so I've got that dried. Now I'm going to, I'm going to use a different star and fill in the rest of these and then we're going to assemble this. Well, that sounded like a beep to me. And that would be, let's see, uh, that'd be Jesse. Jesse Sot. Uh-huh. Jesse Sot. Do have we had 25 yet? I'm I looking, I see watching. 21. So this this will do about six stars. It'll fit they'll fit nicely in there. And I'm just using this to push down so that the edges are stuck. Patriotic bunting. So I just got back on my phone and it was frozen on 25. Okay. So, <laughs> so apparently we've had 25. We had 25 at one time. At one We're time. At 22 right now. Yes, Cheryl, tell them to sprinkle everyone. <laughs> or everyone sprinkle. Or just as long as everybody doesn't tinkle. One more. That one kind of smeared. It's okay. <coughs> Cheryl Craig says, "Come, come, family mints." I don't know what that word is. <laughs> come, come, family mints. <coughs> I don't know. Okay, 
So here is here are two of them that I put together before your very eyes. And let me clean this up. And let's dry these up. You don't think you want to be sprinkled. And I reset, I reset. Yay for me. <laughs> how do you get your you how do we get on your YouTube? Uh, did you see that Bill? Teresa wants to know how to get on our YouTube. If, if you look at the pinned comment, is it there? Okay. Um, Bill, if you'll scroll way down, it's I know it's on that there somewhere. Yeah. Okay, Bill will send you the link. Or you can just you can just type in the search Raincross Farms Makery and we should come up. But Bill's gonna send you the link. Actually, he can just post it to everybody. Yeah, we would love to have you be subscribers on our YouTube also. So here, I did a whole bunch more. Look at these, because I knew I wouldn't have time to do yeah, even more than like two. Even if you don't uh, go on YouTube to watch, you stay yeah, here still, watch, Yeah, still, still subscribe. subscribe. We need more people over there. Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna do seven of these. And these I might do for another project. Okay, and I'm going to get my power punch out, and we're going to punch some holes in here. So let me do that on about half of these. So, so this is our power punch. This will, this will punch through wood up to about an eighth of an inch thick. I like to use it upside down because that way I can see exactly where the hole is going. Thank you, Teresa. Okay. Thank you. Cheryl, what is your, I'm sorry, Cheryl Craig, what is your kitty's name? <laughs> Okay, we sell this in my shop. It's in the supply list if you're interested. Okay, so I've got two holes on each of these. So let's put these together. So what we're going to do is, um, I've, got some, I've got some white jute. I have some beads. So I have some red and blue beads oh, I'm gonna go that I colored. Oh, that's Cheryl Craig. Cheryl Craig. She's already got the other two. Okay, and I also have some ribbons that we're going to use to put to put in between. Okay, three wow, three Cheryls. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure how long this is going to be, so I'm just going to give it a bunch of length. And because I'm going to thread this through, I'm going to I'm going to get some Scotch tape. And I'm going to just wrap up the end so it kind of makes a needle. Yay, we're back up to 25. I see it too. Okay, so I'm going to start with, let's see, I'm going to do... Oh, we're at 26 now. Woohoo! Now, we're, gonna do? now we're cooking. Okay. I'm going to just make sure it doesn't come off. Okay, so I'm going to do two beads. I'm going to go down the front, across the back, and back up. Now, I could tape this or glue this if I wanted to, but I think it will hang just fine. Okay, and I'm going to do a red bead. Uh, Teresa wants to know, can you still get that transfer? Yes. Uh, last I checked, they are still both available. And if you go to, 
happened it'll leave a hole if you go to the supply list you should be able to see it that hole doesn't want to go through okay so i've got some beads in between i'm going to do another one of these going to do red, blue, blue. How much time do I have? I'm doing good. Red. Tammy is uh, channeling, channeling her inner Yoda. <laughs> Which transfer had the stars? I think it was called Land of the Free. Let me see. Category transfers. It was a C size transfer. And Tammy said, uh, "What are you making?" Yes, it was. It's called Land of the Free, and it has a whole bunch of patriotic things, but it it has that little set of stars. What am I making? I am making a garland out of um, our doily pattern to make it kind of look like bunting. You know that the red, white, and blue fabric that's kind of uh, bunched up. We're, we're glad you're here, Cynthia. Doesn't matter what time. I painted the, whoops! Glad I painted extra. Blue. Well, there's Denise Weisskopf. Hello, Yay, Denise. Yay, Denise, hello. Hello! Okay. Pushing these to the end. So this would be great if you have like a mantle or a bookshelf or that you could hang it over a doorway, just up against a wall. See how it's coming together? We're not done. I still have some ribbon. Kara, try a, a Y on the end of it. Yep. Bunting is the word. Yeah, bunting. 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 I think it, bunting refers to the type of cloth that they used to use to make it. That was going to be the keyword, and I thought nobody knows what bunting is. Nobody talks about bunting anymore? No, not really. Okay, so I, I have more to put on, but I'm running out of time. So there you go. I've got, got this. Got it. Now I've got some ribbons. Oh, that I've cut. that's Tara was the last comment. So there you go, Tara, with your doily. Tara Fellerhoff. Tara. Okay. Okay, so I've got some ribbons. I'll, I'll finish doing all of these. But I'm going to separate, to separate these, and I'm going to use, I've got some thick blue, I've got some little bit thinner red, I've got some red, white, and blue stripes, and I have some uh, kind of a lacy, and I am going to... Attach these. Oops. Cynthia, it's got to be a, with an eye. Where did you get the doilies? The doilies are part of the pattern for the, oh, what's it called? It's one of our tear tray patterns with the cherries. Only I didn't chalk the cherries. Okay, so I kind of just looped that on there. So I kind of have some little dangly things. So 
let me let me do another set. With a Y, sweetie. <laughs> oh, D O I L Y. Okay, so I'm gonna do another blue, red. Uh, let's see, red, white, and blue stripe and a little lacy crocheted lacy thing and I'm going to pull these through tighten them up okay, I can kind of maneuver them later so, so it's going to kind of look like this. Let me, do, let me see if I can do one more. And then I'll finish it up and take a picture of it and you can see it. Blue, red, red, white, and blue stripe, lacy. I could just I could just tie them on, but I'm kind of looping it around and tightening it down. And then I can trim these up if I want. Roberta says very nice. Okay. So Roberta you says love it. You Cheryl kind says, of, and Cheryl Craig said so perfect. Kind of get the idea. Let me put these back together. So where did you get the ribbons? The uh, ribbons the I got um, all over. Um, I think some of them were from Michael's. I think some of them were from Dollar Tree. In fact, I know I know the stripe. The stripe was from Dollar Tree and this lacy, crocheted lacy thing was from Dollar Tree. I think I might have gotten some at Michael's. I might have gotten some at a thrift store. You never know. Just whatever you have. So I'm going to kind of reassemble it and hold it up. So I've, I've got a lot more to go, but isn't that cute? Wouldn't that be cute hanging on the wall? Let me see. Looks like it hanging on the wall like that. Okay, well you're done about two and a half minutes. So okay, to, so anyway, this is our patriotic doily bunting project super cute so let's see oh we have time to pick two winners i'm going to make one for the entrance to our dining that would be super cute so in a window above a door on a fireplace on a mantle on a bookcase lots of places okay so our winners tonight are Cheryl Craig. Woohoo! Cheryl Craig. You are one of our winners. You just commented a moment ago. I will I will be reaching out to you on uh, via messenger to get some more information so I can get you the right happy mail. And let's see, let's pick this one. Another Cheryl, Cheryl Mesh. Cheryl Mesh. Yay. So the winners were Cheryl's tonight. Sorry, Cheryl Brock. But Cheryl Mesh, Cheryl Craig, you're our winners for tonight. All of you who have commented doily are entered into our weekly drawing that we hold on Sunday nights. And we are so thankful that you were here and joined us. And if you are with Craft Around the Clock, feel free to follow our page so you can see whenever we go live. We try to go live a couple times a week. And uh, we're going to be off the radar for a bit because we're going to go camping. But we will definitely be back. If we have if we have internet there at the campgrounds, we might we might do a quick live. But we will be back on Sunday night for the weekly drawing. And... And I think I think that's it. So check out our links. Um, and 
thanks for being with us and I hope you have a great rest of your week and I hope you do something creative every day. So thanks again. Go get ready for the 4th of July. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. Bill's, Bill's got to turn it off. <laughs>